Welcome back everyone for the next part of Persona 5 Strike Ups. In the last part, I learned the benefits of using Garnet follow-up attack while fighting Alice and the Bully Girl. And yeah, I think I still think that the Bully Girl was a little bit tougher than Alice herself, just because of the constant shadow spawn that she had. Who actually healed her HP every time if I don't take care of them. Those pixies are getting on my nerves sometimes. Especially since they already killed me twice. And thanks to them, I failed two times with the bully girl. Anyways, now how about we see the conclusion after changing Alice's heart? Yeah, <laughs> let's get going. And of course the bond level up. Thanks! <laughs> Great. Uh, I made my way back to LeBlanc. Hey! Wait, what's the conclusion? I thought we might get another cutscene. Um, hey Ray. Han was very angry with Shadow Alice earlier. Yeah. By the end though, she appeared happy. Why is that? Wasn't she angry at Alice? Well... I guess she finally shot her feeling. And. Yeah, they also understand each other. Okay. Anger is not just for hurting people, it is also able to save people. Well, that kind of depends, you know. Consider. Anger saved Alex. If someone is in the wrong, anger can be used to show them the error of their ways. The human heart is such a mystery. But thanks to you, I've gained valuable experience. Thank you. I hope to learn more from you. I hope she's not going to use anger every time if she thinks somebody has problems with the heart. And I really need to save this. Let's just quickly save it over there. Great. A certain TV studio, filming location. And now for the hottest meet and greet. Alice Hiragi has returned as our special guest. Miss Alice, thank you so much for coming on today, despite the last visit's conclusion. From what I hear, there's something you wish to share? Yes, I need to confess something. The incident that occurred with the previous hosts... That was... all my fault. I forced him to proclaim his love for me during a live broadcast. When I heard he was engaged to his co-host, I just wanted to ruin their relationship. <laughs> Miss Alice. And they're not the only ones. Anytime I see a happy woman, I just get so jealous. I do whatever it takes to ruin their lives. Uh, um, is this... is this a prank or something? All of my past managers tried so hard to stop me. But then I'd lash out at them too, and and I'd assault them until they'd back down. The only reason I've changed managers is because my last one had a total breakdown. Wait, are you... is this real? Everything I've said here is the truth. I'm sure all of it is easy enough to prove now. I've lied, and I've... I've hurt so many people. And I'm just so sorry for it all. Is this... the Phantom Thieves? I'm the one who did it all! No one but me did these horrible things! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Cut! Cut! Right now! You have to stand by! Alice... This is gonna blow way up. That news lady even name-checked the Phantom Thieves. Well, whatever may come, at least our job's done. Right. We may have gone through something quite different from a palace. There's no mistaking Alice had a change of heart. The people with the stolen desires seem to be normal again, too. It's all over the internet. My son was about to blow our savings on Alice merch, but the Phantom Thieves rescued him. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. I'm just seeing a lot of I want my money back. Well, we sure can't help him there. 
I'm not sure everyone's actually a victim here. Nevertheless, mission complete. I wonder what'll happen to Alice next. Hey, what about me? <laughs> what they was everywhere? They know my face! How <laughs> They know my face! It's probably next to impossible oh, no. for her to make it in the industry now. Her scandal is big news. No matter why she did it, there are still consequences for her actions. But if Alice really can find that feeling she had when she first discovered fashion, I think she'll be okay. She can still be a ray of light for others. Even if she has to find another way to shine. That reminds me. We should still try to press her for info. She might know something that we still don't. But do we actually have a chance of meeting her now? I imagine her day-to-day -day life's become quite the mess. Ah, jeez, that's a good point. Her agency isn't going to want anything to do with her. An enlightening conversation as always in here. Oh god, the step guy again. What's up? How's it hanging, folks? <laughs> what? Aw, you again, Gramps? Hey, I won't deny I'm older than you guys, but that still stings, you know? But more importantly, you guys really hop to work when your minds are set, don't you? To what are you referring? Don't play stupid. I gave you solid intel, yeah? Yes, but that's... Well, that's good news. Looks like I'll be getting my own in return. Your own what? I came here today for your response to my offer. You know, the deal. We already told you we don't work with cops. And what if I tossed in a little bonus? Such as running some questions by Alice for you. Wait, what? You were just saying you wanted info from her, right? That's accurate. But Alice already confessed to messing with people on live TV. Our names have been cleared. Yeah, what she said. We don't need you for shit. If only that were true. What do you mean by that? How is this case not closed? Oh, it is far from closed. This change of heart epidemic is happening all over the country. What? And we know they can't all be Alice's victims. Therefore, you still have plenty to get pinned on you, don't you? Not only that, you already know how badly you've stirred the pot. That little calling card stunts fired up the public more than ever. These change of heart cases have to be the phantom thieves. It's the only thing I hear down at the station now. Do you really not realize how dangerous a position you're in right now? Oh, yes, what I do, bullshit. actually. <laughs> what the hell did we do? Calm down. Why do you think I offered you that deal? If I wanted to, I could cuff you and take you in right now. The reason I'm not is because I believe you are not the culprit. To catch the true perpetrator, I need your help. Huh. And what makes you think that? Uh, detective's intuition? Maybe? I mean, I'm pub set, but that's close enough. The M.O. in this recent epidemic doesn't mesh with the Phantom Thieves' ideology. The motives also appear very different. These are two separate cases. At least, that's what I believe. <sighs> May we have a moment to ourselves? We'd like to discuss it first. Sure, I'll be right outside. Just holler when you're ready for me. Now this is unexpected. We assumed Alice's confession would clear our names. Damn it. So they really weren't just trolling. What is it? When I was searching the web, I noticed some people saying weird stuff was happening here and there. Similar to what we've seen so far. Almost none of them made the news, and it seems like everyone's just trying to ignore it. But... What Gramps is saying is probably not bullshit after all. What should we do? If they decide to scapegoat us, we'll never be able to clear our names. They're not even changing hearts for the same reasons as us. Also, even if they put me into prison, that wouldn't solve the problem at all. They would just put me into prison and then suddenly the problem gets bigger and bigger. Huh? If there really are other brainwashing incidents out there, that would mean there are more jails. Do you think there could be more monarchs out there too? Probably. And what would we do? Considering what we've gathered, going along with that man could be a viable option. Are we seriously gonna trust that dude? <sighs> what other choice do we have? At the very least, his intel about Alice was useful. What do you say? Hmm. 
Let's make the deal. I can trust him. I guess there's not much of a choice here. If we don't agree, he might actually put me into jail. I'm not having that. You're right. All we can do now is accept his deal. Now wait. Even if we do level with him, how would we explain it? All if right. He's going to understand what we've been doing. He'll have to learn about the metaverse. Do you think he'll even believe us? Um. Could we maybe bring him along? I mean, the best way to prove something to somebody is to show it, right? We have no choice but to make him believe. Otherwise, it's our leader on the line. But, but the metaverse, the jail, how do you think we're gonna get some thick-headed cop to buy that? Ryuchi, think about it. The jail is still there. Technically speaking, we could just go back there, bring him along, surprise the heck out of him, and maybe then he gives us a little bit more breathing room. Huh? <laughs> Would be great. Should it also seems be safe. The only choice is to take him to the jail. Makoto gets me. <laughs> Wait, really? Mako-chan. Can you think of any other way for him to avoid getting arrested? We have one playable card in our hand. We just have to go along with it for the time being. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It will be dangerous in the jail, but you should be able to protect one man. Wait, it's still dangerous? I thought after the monarch left, it became quiet. Huh. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any option. And <laughs> any other option. It may be our, in our best interest to accept the deal. Right. All right. We'll do it. It's not like we have any alternative. Let's hope it's not our undoing. Ah, shit. We gotta stay prepared for the worst case. I'll call him back in. Come on back. We're ready for you. Huh, that was quicker than I expected. So, what say you all? There's a place we need to show you. Follow us. I see. A jail full of shadows. With a monarch seizing desires, was it? All right. What say we go get you tested for drugs now? If you're going to cook up some fantasy to sell me, maybe try a little less spice next time? Just save it for now. We're about to take you into the cognitive world. Cognitive world? Follow us. Huh? Where to exactly? <laughs> oh, that poor dude! Oh, that poor dude! <laughs> so, are you gonna answer me or? What? What is... This... Is it real? Everything here is real. Every last bit you can see. Whoa. What happened? What are those outfits for? Yep, just about what I expected. This is our Phantom Thief attire. Ha! <laughs> what even is this? Where am I? Questions. This is a jail. You are currently located within a jail. Wait, who are you? I am Sophie, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to... What? Chill out, Zenkiji. You gotta keep your... Oh my god, Pagana! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. I can't be losing my shit, like... <laughs> monster cat! I am oh my not god. a monster cat! I am Morgana! You finally believe we've been telling you the truth? The hell? How much did I drink last night? This just had to be a dream. I'm still passed out. You holding up there, Gramps? No need to worry. He's merely having a meltdown. Uh, that hmm? still sounds rather worrisome. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we blew his mind. Oh, brother. I suppose we may as well head back now. Well, that was short wizard. <laughs> but I guess uh, maybe he kind of understands us now. Hopefully. I mean, now we should be able to hear Morgana's voice outside, right? Oh man! How did this... What's happened to me? Did I drive myself crazy trying to crack this case? <laughs> it's pretty fun watching him lose it. Hmm, his brain 
probably overloaded and he can't catch up. Oh, why'd we even bother explaining it all beforehand? We all reacted similarly during our first time. Ah, oh, such innocence. Get a hold of yourself, Gramps. Sheesh. How long do you need to get it together? Come on, Earth to Zenkichi! Huh? Oh, right. Right. Get it together. <laughs> this cat said my name! <laughs> Wait, are you that monster cat in that place? <laughs> it's the monster cat! Not a monster or a cat! I told you I am Morgana! Since you're cognizant of Morgana speaking in the metaverse, you can understand him here now, too. Cats can talk if I'm cognizant of it? <laughs> That's really something! <laughs> I think he's going to need a little more time to process all of this. First off, sorry for losing my cool like that. I think I get what's going on, though. Actually, none of it makes any sense to me. But I'm going to strive to understand. If we're going to make a deal, then that will make us conspirators. Conspirators have to vow never to betray one another's trust. <laughs> so, you already know how all this works. All right, all right. Your trust is repaid with mine. Help me figure out this nationwide change of heart business, and I'll make sure you're all protected. As long as you cooperate, I won't allow the police to lay a finger on you. That's my vow. Great! Then I guess it's a deal. Good. I look forward to working together. In that case, I'm going to cut right down to it and ask for your help with a similar incident. PubSec has their eyes on Sapporo right now because of all the change of heart cases there. I need you in Sapporo Central City by August 8th. Why does it need to be the 8th? Our suspect's out of the country on a business trip until then. We're kicking off the investigation within the hour of their arrival back home. I see. Very well. So it's likely this suspect in Sapporo is another Mana, like Alice. That could be. If so, then I'd have to ask you guys to handle it. So, we're heading to Sapporo Central in Hokkaido, huh? This'll be quite the little trip for us. Uh, word of caution? You'll definitely want to avoid any sort of public transportation. You're gonna to want to either drive or hoof it. Wait, what? Why is that? You revived the Phantom Thieves to deal with Alice. Any potential monarch will have heard about it. The way they see it, you're a real problem. Especially if you go after their own desires. They're definitely all on high alert now. They may even try to get rid of us. There's no way to know who's brainwashed until after they act. What if one of them was the pilot of your plane? But if we can't fly, how do we get to Sapporo? Find a car you can use. That'd be safest. You're not going to set us up with one? Sorry, but I've got to keep this investigation top secret. Any aid would just leave a trail back to this deal of ours. Oh, and one more thing. Don't worry about the Alice thing. I'll fill you in once I'm done grilling her. Well, here's to a solved case. Same here, Zenkichi. Ah, uh, right. Sorry I called you a monster cat, kitty. Oh, you'll be sorry! <laughs> oh, well. Okay. You didn't go crazy. This is real, Zenkichi. Oh, he still has some trouble. <sighs> oh, yeah. The poor dude. I mean, it, I mean, it is a bit much. <laughs> it is a bit much out of nowhere without warning. I mean, they did try to warn him, but... Uh, <laughs> Nobody can't be warned for that. An F and buzzkill. I mean, <laughs> Hokkaido? Really? Uh, there goes our vacation down the drain. Ain't this stuff happening all over Japan anyways? Even if we do solve this one, we're just gonna get sent off to some other city. A traveling venture in cooperation with public security. I admit it doesn't sound all bad. We should stop by Kyoto as well. Find that silver lining, Inari. This trip isn't for our enjoyment. The case will still be our primary objective. But it's still summer vacation. Can't we have just a little fun? Yeah, the 8th is way off from now. We can still do all kinds of shit before then. Oh, I'd like to experience some regional cuisines. Yeah, yeah, sushi for me. Well, I guess uh, this is going to be a Phantom Road trip. <laughs> We can cut loose after the case is closed. That being said, we should go over some things before we move on to the trip. First up is Emma. It seems like an ordinary app at first, but now we know that it has a hidden function that can access jails. All right. 
kind of like the meta nerf. A nerf. Yeah, totally the same thing. To think something like that is being used nationwide, it sends a chill down my spine. The app itself is fine though, right? I mean, you can just delete it if you want. Plus, all the keyword and friend list functions work fine. If the app just let everybody slip into jails, wouldn't the whole country basically be pure chaos already? We've all registered as friends on it, but that didn't do anything strange in and of itself. Where did this app come from, anyway? It's run by a Japanese company called Mediz. They're an international IT firm. We're talking tens of thousands of employees. That's quite the large-scale operation. With those numbers, they have to be a top-tier international enterprise. So is this some evil mega-corporation making jails or something? But we can't use Emma the same way Alice did. Well, maybe that's because we all got pure hearts, or something. <sighs> Moron. Maybe it's related to those traumas. There's a possibility that Alice had a special version of Emma. What makes you say that? Uh, just an idea. I'm grasping at straws over here. But it is a possibility. Hmm. If I got a hold of Alice's phone somehow, I should be able to see if her version of Emma is anything special. Really? You should ask Inspector Hasegawa if he could confiscate it for us. I'll reach out to him later over it. All right, next topic, the jail. Each palace collapsed after the treasure inside was stolen. But the jail is still in Shibuya. Not only that, but the palaces are the manifestations of their ruler's cognitions. But that's not true at all in jails. Humans can have their desires seized from their shadows there. And that would cause terrible things to occur to them in the real world. When you put it all together like that, don't it sound even worse than the palaces? If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart, that means there are probably more jails out there. There could be quite a few of them, considering how impossible it is to report on every incident. <laughs> so... We're working with the police to try and clear our names, but is that really enough? How do you mean? If the jails are as dangerous as we've seen, then wouldn't it be bad to just leave them alone if stuff as awful as what happened in Shibuya is happening all over? Aren't we the only ones who can stop it? That's right. You're absolutely right. Yes, it's our job to save people suffering helplessly. And give people courage. Hmm. There's my fan thieves. <laughs> yeah, you said it. Great speech, Lady On. You've got us all fired up. That's the plan. Maybe traveling by car will actually work to our advantage. Right. We might find some more jails on the way to Sapporo. That works for me. A little bit of a jailbreak spree along the way. But how do we actually find the other jails? <sighs> Yusuke? Hmm. 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 Uh, yes? Uh, it'll only take us about a million years. I believe it may be time for the Sophia show. Ooh, check the super AI! I can detect any jails in the vicinity by scent. By scent? And how do you do that? For real? By scent? A jail emits a distinct signature. When I enter a jail's range, I can sense it. Sophia, that is nuts! Praise accepted. There is still much we do not understand. But at least we now have a course of action. Yeah, this is gonna be... Hmm. A trip to reform all of society, a job for defend thieves, a great time with you guys. Oh, I guess this is gonna be a job for defend thieves. Hell yeah! <laughs> I am psyched! All that's left is to secure our transportation. If this is going to fit all of us, won't it have to be pretty big? We'll just have to rent something. Oh, who knows what it'll cost us. Money is no object to us. Prize funds for my most recent contest entry have finally come. Oh, keep your snack money to yourself. Well, we could have deal with someone in the police. Maybe they'll help pay for our investigation. <sighs> nah, no way. Some pretty big transportation. Hmm. I'm getting this feeling that Sojiro mentioned something along those lines once. Let's go ask him. A 
ride that could fit all of you. Weren't you talking to someone about big transportation or something the other day? Oh, you mean the guy I know with the camper? Uh, yeah, he was whining about never having the time to use it. Now it's just collecting dust. Sojiro, that's it! Please go borrow that camper for us, please! Hmm. <laughs> uh? Does this have anything to do with what you guys are getting blamed for? Kind of. Yes. We really need that thing. <laughs> Then I guess I don't have a choice. I'll give him a call. Sit tight till tomorrow. Yeah, now there's our chief. So consider it. But listen up. No getting too wild out there, all right? And are y'all set with travel funds and whatnot? Yes, we'd all been saving up for summer vacation. <laughs> Once art drove me to rags, but now it has propelled me to riches. Yeah, we gotcha. A camper? Yeah. This is turning into some kind of a coming of age flick. Wait, are you guys and girls actually gonna sleep in that thing together? No worries, the boys are all sleeping on the roof. Wait, we what? And we've got Makoto and her fist of justice with us if someone tries anything funny. Hey, come on! That is so unfair! They're gonna get attacked by all types of bugs! Oh, and I'm very handy with an axe! Uh, a horror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, please go easy on us, ladies. These sisters are really doing it for themselves. Fine, whatever you gotta do. So, about what I asked for. Ah, right. Alice's phone. Here you go. My oh, he really got it. Hey, that's important evidence. No breaking it. Got that? So, how was Alice, anyway? She was pretty upfront about the whole heart-changing situation. When people registered her as a friend on Emma, she noticed they'd suddenly grow obedient to her. At first, she was just curious what was going on. But she says she got such a thrill from making people do her bidding, she couldn't stop herself. It began with the friend registration. Hmm? Was there anything else? The only other thing she did was apologize. That's all we got. But it does seem like she was telling me the truth. So, she didn't actually know anything about the jails or desires. Well, I have to say, I wouldn't have bought one bit of it if you hadn't shown me what you did. Hmm? What in the hell? Hmm? What is it? Did you find something? I thought I'd find some unique aspect to Alice's version of Emma. But nope. This is just the standard commercial version. It hasn't even been tampered with. So we got nothing out of this? I didn't say that. I did find traces of some snooping in her phone. What do you mean? Someone was monitoring Alice's activity, either her smartphone usage in general or her Emma usage specifically. So, like... Uh, she has a stalker? I suppose that is possible. I mean, she's a celebrity. However, it could also mean there is still someone out there involved with this incident. Do you see anything revealing the Monitor's origins? Somewhere within the country. That's all I get from this. Uh. Getting even that's quite the feat. You're real good, kid. <laughs> Never underestimate the techie of the Phantom Thieves. So someone was tracking Alice. Who could it be? Uh, one thing at a time. This isn't our only case to work. I'm sure we'll find more leads as we investigate the incidents. Well, I'll see you August 8th at Sapporo Central. Don't be late, got it? I'll reach out to you that day with the meetup location. Time to return this phone to its rightful owner. So Alice could put people in her jail because she was a monarch. Is that about right? Since it didn't seem to be her version of Emma's doing, that seems correct. I get where you're coming from, but we still shouldn't jump to conclusions. Like Zenkyuji said, there's still plenty to look into. That's true. If we don't know enough about what's happening, we should gather more intel. Hmm? Hey, you guys still together? Then come on outside. Check out your wheels. Our wheels? Oh, he got it! He probably got it! Yo! He actually got it! Wait, well, 
Here's your wheels. What? <laughs> this is the camper? Whoa. Whoa. It's like three times more badass than I expected. Beautiful. The radio design so simple yet so elegant. Thanks. Thanks, Sotaro. Oh my god. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just make sure you don't wreck it, okay? I can't promise that. You never mm -hmm. know. <laughs> I found the make and model online. This is a Vulcan Retro Life. It has four beds and a rooftop tent. There are enough power outlets for everyone as well as a as cooking appli appliance for any culinary needs. There's even a tent for the rooftop. Oh. Really? We couldn't have asked for anything better. Thanks, our <laughs> that's our cheat for ya. Wow. wow, I love the interior too! Yes, it reminds me of an American diner in the 1980, uh, 1950s. Hmm. I hope I can actually drive something this big. It got it got its little quirks, but I'm sure you'll be you will get used to them quick enough. Until then, though, make sure you drive carefully, okay? Uh. Well, I guess I can't really park this here, can I? Hmm. I go move this to the nearest lot. You guys finish your packing, okay? Of course. That's true. Alright, let's disband for now and recruit once we are ready to roll. So much bond. Hey, hey! Well, good job getting packed up for the trip. Anything else you think we'll need? If so, we better go buy it now. Once we are all set, we should go say our goodbye to the chief before heading out. Phone? Yeah, dude! <laughs> There's something I wanna go before uh, I wanna go before we head out. You shuck <laughs> got a <can't> freak. <laughs> you should check it out too! I wait for you outside, so let me know when you're ready. Yuchi wants to do something? Of course I'm going to come over. Oh! Hey, we've been waiting for you. Up to grab some ramen right now? It will be you know where. Ah, right, the ramen shop. Let's celebrate for getting the band back together and setting off on a big road trip. Let's go. We did it! What are you waiting for then? You're gonna go right now? I think you're a little obsessed. That's a problem? Hey, if you're not doing anything, you should come along. I don't know. If I want all the calories. Yeah, let's go. Well, I guess I come along since Ray is there. <laughs> Alright. The Chujin tree was off. Ah, yes. And I think she's also eating it. Damn, this shit is the bomb. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Oh, dude! No ramen, no life! Uh huh. This brings me back. <laughs> Ray, you haven't eaten this for what? Half a year? You must have a really happy reunion. Yeah, yeah. You really love ramen that much? Well, it is good though. Right? I could eat this forever. Man, eating this reminds me of the original Phantom Thief. Back when it was just a tree. Hey. You mean. Four. I was there too, you know. I remember you ate too much and ended up feeling like crap. You were the same way. Uh huh. Sophie? Hey, show me the ramen. Sure. Wow. Oh, so this is what ramen is. Looks good, right? Too bad you can't try it. They got extra large ones too. You won't believe how much stuff they put in. I wanna see. Oh. Huh? I want to see the extra large ramen. Uh, well, show her, Yuji. For real? No way. I just had a bowl. So that's the story. You just said you could eat it forever. Do it for Sophia. <laughs> uh, way to put me on the spot. Awesome. Fine. Challenge accepted. But I'm taking you guys with me. Hey, boss. We'll take three extra large bowls over here. What? Wait, seriously? <laughs> oh god, Anne! Oh my god, that is much. Oh no. 
no. I... I can't. No more. <laughs> oh. Don't you dare, Ryuji. We had to pay for this. That stays in. <laughs> My stomach feels like it's about to burst. Mm, are you... Are you guys done? I don't know. Um, did you see that? Whoa. Thank you. I learned a lot from that. Uh -huh. That's good to hear. <sighs> I need to lie down. Do you think they have any hammocks here? I don't think so. You enjoyed ramen to the full extent with An and Ryuji. Uh huh. Bond! <sighs> oh my god, I definitely gained, a, <laughs> gained some weight after that. Oh man, easy on the road, or else it's all coming back up. Oh god, you poor guys. Anyways, I guess it's about time that we head out, huh, Sojiro? Hey. About to roll out? Yeah, see you later. Yo. Alright, well, here, take this with you. Hope it does... Uh, does you some good on the trip. Make sure you make enough for everyone. Pork, onion, rice. Oh, thank you. Well, time for me to pick up the rice. Or rather, your rice. I'll be right back. You give everyone a call and have to meet up here, okay? Right. Hmm. You sure you kids gonna be okay on your own? We'll be fine. I mean, probably. Take care, boss. Uh, same to you. Be careful out there. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that guy. Too bad that we can't pass most time with Sojiro. <laughs> yeah. Summer vacation, here we come! <laughs> Senkichi? Or Senkichi? You look unusually serious, Inspector Hasegawa. Oh, Commissioner Kaburagi. My apologies. I've been short on sleep. I've not been on an undercover case in quite some time. I wholly understand. Have you liaised with the Phantom Thieves? Affirmative. I've gained their cooperation. However, proceedings are touch and go. Some of them are also very quick on the uptake. Nevertheless, I guarantee you that I will win them over. Understood. As expected from someone so dependable. Well, I still owe you for taking me under your wing. I'm happy to do whatever you require. Keep at it until you get to the bottom of this case. But do not get too attached to them. At this point, their arrest is an inevitability. Wait, what? Attached? I haven't been attached to anything in a long time. So you say. And... How's the girl? Go home. At least every so often. Understood? Whoa, 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 whoa! What did you mean? My arrest is, in the, is in the available. Is that guy tricking me? Ma'am. Senkichi! We just made the deal! <laughs> You're already tricking me? No way she's buying anything about that world. I've got to wring a lead out of him. Don't take it personally, Phantom Thieves. All I want is for this case to be solved. And I'll use you however I have to. Ah, okay. I guess we're gonna treat you the same way then, huh? Senkichi. Yo, the same where are we now? Way. Looks like we're coming up on Tochigi Prefecture. We've come a pretty long way. Tochigi. Tochigi is famous for the Niko Toshogu Shrine. Dedicated to Tokugawa Ieyasu. I heard the monkey sculptures there are adorable. I wonder if we'll get to see them. Ooh, I want strawberries. <gasps> Let's go strawberry picking. Apparently, Gyoza is pretty big there too. Utsunomi is supposed to be the place for it. You say Gyoza? Oh, hell yeah. We're gonna get some, right? Um. I mean, don't rule out the strawberries. <laughs> of all the things to get excited about. Oh, it's understandable. We could all use some time to unwind every now and then. And besides, we've already discussed it. We could just go straight to Hokkaido, but we decided it would be more worthwhile to check out a variety of places rather than just one. And there might be jails in other cities besides Shibuya and Sapporo. 
Not only that, but the supposed monarch Sapporo won't even be in town till the 8th. We have the time. There's no reason we shouldn't make use of it. That is true. I guess we're gonna take our time then, huh? <laughs> uh, I guess you have a point. Wait, say we find a jail before then. Does that mean we're sort of hunting for monarchs along the way? Oh, we're taking the Phantom Thieves to a whole new level. This is starting to feel real badass. Well, if there is a jail, I'm sure Sophia will let us know. Leave that to me. I should be able to handle it. I think. You'd think the AI would be a little more sure of herself. Yeah, seriously, who or what are you? I'm humanity's companion. There she goes singing again. <laughs> Don't think too hard about it. I'm sure we'll learn more if she sticks around. Isn't that right, Sophia? That's right, Un. Oh, that reminds me, Mako-chan. You've been driving this whole time. Are you doing okay? I have my license too, so I can always drive if you want. Well, you just got yours, Haru, so I'll try to handle as much of the driving as I can. Does anyone else have their license? I don't. Apologies, I do not. Me neither. I want to get mine soon, though. Do you have one? Uh, well... <laughs> Sorry, nope, I don't have license too. Didn't I drive the car in the memento doll? Well, I guess it doesn't really count in this one. Nope. Sorry. Well, Not in I this guess game. Did just reach driving age. Sorry, Mako-chan. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? I won't. Although we might be taking more breaks. I wouldn't want to put any of us at risk. That's fine by me. We want our Makoto to stay nice and well rested. So you're going to keep driving, Makoto? I think so, for the time being. That sounds difficult. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, since you've asked, do you think you could find a place to stop and rest? I could probably use a break. We can have lunch there, too. Okay, I'd be happy to. There's a riverbank up ahead that should be perfect. Lunch by a river, huh? Oh, man, this is feeling like a real road trip. Yo, this spot is perfect! Is, is this even real? I've only ever seen this kind of place online! Seriously! Ugh. And this is the perfect weather for cooking outdoors, too! Shall we get started, then? Boss gave us some ingredients, didn't he? Alright! <laughs> oh, this is going to be so nice! Cooking lunch with everyone! <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, what is this? Enable the creation of right. something! No! It disappears way too quickly! I can't read that fast! Oh well. Oh, I can actually cook! Uh, at the hideout, you can use ingredients. Is that my hideout? You can use ingredients to cook food. These dishes can, be res can restore HP and SP or even grant buffers. Oh, that's good to know. You will be able to cook more dishes as you learn recipes. You can obtain recipes from regional shops or through certain events. So make sure you keep an eye out for them. Okay. Well, I am supposed to make some pork. Or rather curry. Short order cook. Ooh, something smells great. I think we have a winner. Mm, it looks pretty good. There we go. I know that smell. That's Soji Rose Curry, no doubt! Oh, my stomach! I need... The rice has been prepared. We're ready whenever. <laughs> okay, Yusuka, calm down. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I could eat this forever. Indeed. And to be surrounded by nature in all its splendor makes it taste that much better. Is there more? The great phantom thief Utaba just swiped the very last plate. <laughs> <laughs> last? Fate is cruel. Oh, come on. Don't act so depressed. It's not like it's the end of the world. That is true. I mean, I could always make it again. You will. Please do. Ah, oh, that was killer. We can't even move. I'm full too. How about I pour us some tea and we can all just relax? Oh, that would be great! Who 
Why don't we roast marshmallows later on, too? Jeez, you're seriously still thinking about food? What of it? There's always room for sweets. All right, we'll finish our break with some tea and sweets, then get going. Everyone enjoyed their lunch. And even more points. I've been getting so many bond points, though. Crazy. I feel like we've been on the road for a while. Where are we now? Good question, good question. I can't really tell. We're still on a highway somewhere. We'll be entering Sendai soon. We made a lot of stops, but no sign of any jails, huh? Well, I'm definitely feeling a little more relaxed now. I wouldn't want those things popping up everywhere. Also, it's getting kind of dark. How about we call it a day? Yes, we should decide where we want to stay for tonight. Shouldn't we eat first? Uh, what's good in Sendai? As far as local delicacies go, there's always beef pang. There's plenty of specialty shops around. Nonsense. Delicious as that sounds, we must go to Mount Aoba Park and see the remains of Sendai Castle. They house a statue of the late Lord Date Masamune. I'd very much like to see the one-eyed dragon for myself. Uh, I want to take a bath first. I'm not sleeping in the camp or all sweaty and sticky. Jeez, we're all over the place on this one. Um, well, what should we do? Well, how about rock, pepper, scissors? This is where I come in. Hmm? Searching. Overnight parking lots. Beef tongue. Date Masamune. And nearby bathhouses. Leave it to me. I'll find the most efficient route to everything you've suggested. Wow, you can do all that, Sophia? It's nothing special. I'm just doing a wide search and lining up our destinations. We should first head to the parking lot at Mount Alba Park. Then we can walk to the statue of Masu... Huh? Huh? Sophia? Hmm? What's up? The smell. There might be a jail here. Whoa, for real? You can really tell just off that, huh? Are you sure, Sophia? I think so. I can't pinpoint it yet, and that may be because of the distance. But this feels the same as Shibuya. Oh! Sendai it is, then. Alright then, we're heading to Sendai. We shouldn't be too much longer. Well, Sophia, can you smell the jail? Yes, I'm sure of it. There's a jail somewhere in this city. But where the jail is going to be? Going to save that for the next part because the part is getting way too long. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I didn't expect the cutscene to be that long. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys had fun with today's part and see you in the next one. Bye bye!